In this video, I made my first 3D game in Godot. Now, this is a challenge for me because I've been using the engine for 9 months now and every single game I've made has been 2D. However, today I've had enough and will be fixing that. Originally, I just had plans to wait for a good 3D tutorial and just... But this time, I was going to put some effort in, with a game idea that's in one of the toughest genres, with the fiercest competition. It was none other than the Flappy Bird like, which uh, famously takes the most effort. However, my twist was making it 3D, which yeah, I know has been done, but this time, it's me doing it, so it's going to be amazing. So I got to work opening my project and starting by adding a sphere and a floor. Then I opened Blender for the first time in a year and got to work. Then I made this model, and I was genuinely about to add the legend, however, when saving it, uh, it crashed and I lost this beauty. Um, I think Blender was trying to stop their software being associated with this model, but... Uh, anyway, I then added jumping to the ball and my instinct made me take flight and yeah, that's another bug. Now, I could have maybe just put an item store with some ads, put it on the play store and call it a day, but I was motivated to make this great. Next up was remaking the model. So, I made another bird and uh, his eyes aren't even balanced. And my blender skills are so bad I genuinely can't fix it. Anyway, I added it in and made a new camera POV. I then added some pipes I modelled and it collided with the platform I started on. But what I had to worry about was that my game was at 8 FPS already. Something was going majorly wrong as the bird was just stationary and this was happening. Uh, the lag is caused by the collision but I don't know how to fix it. I then added repeating pipes and you can avoid them but colliding with them once again lagged out the game making it unplayable. This may be because I was doing the visual trick where the pipes are the ones actually moving and the bird isn't. However, I realized hitting the pipe means you lost anyway, so I could do something like restart the game. I also had another problem with the game, and that was the camera. It was hard to see the pipes coming up and gauge where the hole is. So for that reason, I moved the camera to the side for this angle. This for me felt better, and yeah, there's the bird fighting for its frames. I then worked on the environment around the bird making an infinite floor. Then I decided to steal the death animation from the original Flappy Bird and now it just keeps shutting down mid -air. And then finally, I got the fling back, which was pretty goofy, <laughs> but I mean... This worked by creating a clone that acts like a stunt double and can just react to force and gravity. There were also unfortunately a couple impossible jumps so to counter that I increased the jump force and gravity so you could move overall further. Since the background was also looking plain I decided to make a building to fill the background. However one would have been repetitive so I added a second with a nice balcony and a diddy potty. Uh, okay. Yo why did I write that? I made two more and then I made them move while they randomly generate when they spawn in to make a nice changing background. With this, the game was shaped up and was quite fun for me, and the core existed. The floor, however, didn't. One problem that annoyed me was everything spawning in front. Everything was spawning in from nowhere, so my big brain thought of fog uh, and it did work and does conceal it, but at the cost of it being even more ugly than the previous version. Then it needed a ceiling as the pipes couldn't just be floating, so I added another floor but as a roof. This was low key claustrophobic, so I changed it just to look like an attachment to the pipe system. Uh, it wasn't perfect but slightly better. I added collision to flying too high and low, and that was Flappy Bird 3D. I learned a few things as this game did take some awareness of the 3D, but at the same time, being serious, it's just Flappy Bird. So my next project was going to be some platformer. I got a bean in with a platform, and then by sitting back and watching this tutorial, I got a simple camera system on the bean. Then I got movement in with no gravity, but I wish I was joking, but this movement was probably bugged for two hours. Then I added gravity and a jump, and then really just missed that jump. After that, I added a second platformer just to test, and some quality of life changes like jump buffering and coyote time. Coyote time, yeah. But this platformer needed more than a bean, so I fought back to my first vid and decided to bring back the avocado. One thing I'm learning is that I'm starting to hate Blender, although it should just be for now and stop when I get good, but for now it's just a painful experience. Anyway, kind of inspired by Boomerang Fu, I made this avocado shell, and then when I put it into the game it started doing spinjitsu, and the player would now face the direction of movement, and the avocado was in. In this project, I probably spend most of the time on the camera, and here's me trying to test it when the object's in the way, but it's only working 50% of the time. One of the problems was the avocado was a bit soulless, so I decided to fill in his soul, and uh, yeah. You let me know if he lost or gained more soul, because I generally don't even know what this is at this rate. Um, 
The seed in the avocado also got eyes for that matter, creating a dynamic duo that Mario and Luigi are scared of. Nah, but like, look at him just stare through the recording. Then I added a green floor to move around in. I guess I just didn't think about the avocado camouflaging through it, but um, I couldn't be asked to remodel it. I then returned with some advancements. Firstly, I changed the skybox, which actually made a huge difference from something I wasn't expecting to make a huge difference. And secondly, modeled this little stand to jump on. Although its faces are kind of glitched at the back, it looked pretty decent. When playing around with full screen, I got this pixel effect, which I liked and kind of covered up for the graphics. I also added another platform with height and it started to get fun to jump around in. Then I doubled down on what I just did making it more pixely and adding another platform. And now it's a PS2 game. I also added dying through teleporting you to spawn when you fall off. After that it was time for a camera update where you can now zoom in and out and objects do not obstruct your vision as the camera moves closer. Now one problem plaguing my game was the same as last time. When moving forward into this platform the frames would just drop. I'm not too sure whether it's because I'm using move and slide or move and collide and move and slide with snappage. I'm not really too sure what it is but the issue was kind of annoying. Then it was a tree update where I added a new platform that hangs on the sides of things and to go with that there was a tree to climb which overall made a nice little parkour course and then I went back to pixelizing. Then it was time for some juicing where I added some nice particles for the player lands, then I reused them for moving to get a feel, and I felt like it fit the moving even more. The one thing I felt the avocado was missing were hands and maybe feet, so I added this small cube to act like one of the floating hands using sin wave and velocities, like, uh, anyway, it floats nicely, but the best effect is when falling, it rises to mimic real falling, and then by reversing the direction of the first one, I also got a second hand in which moves similarly but oppositely to the right. Next, it was time for some animations. Now, the avocado had no bones really, so it was just squash and stretch, starting with the idle animation you're watching right now. The entire time in the game, there's been a sprint. Uh, I've not really mentioned it, but uh, it just like speeds up the player. But now when you do it, there's a little shake animation. There was this cool bug where it's celebrating now. Then I added the most satisfying feature to my game, FOV zoom. At first I started light with a nice little zoom, then I started speeding up creating an F1 car speed now, and then there was no turning back. Uh, this one like, uh, this one hurt my brain. <laughs> Ending up on the quickest I could go without breaking the game, and then going back to default. As you can see I made this box model, however when exporting I got hit by the bug of doom, no idea how to fix it, so I literally couldn't export any more new models to the game. Which brings me to say along with this FPS drop meant the game wasn't really going to be expanded as I hoped. I thought it could be maybe similar to a rage game like only up where uh, you could just like, just climb. Lucky. And if I don't sound sad about this bug, it's because I did want to work on other projects, so this wasn't too bad, I could just like wrap it up. Then I had to return to the Flappy Bird game as it didn't receive enough love not having a retry button, so I added that in and a start building. I then thought of its name and its new name is Choppy Sphere 3D. Uh, a nice little name, I think. And the other one is Avocados Hangout. You can play it on Windows because Avocados Hangout broke on web. And looking back, Choppy Bird 3D is just a disgrace to game dev. Okay, I just have to say it here. Uh, please don't play this game. But yeah, um, on 868 subs, if someone wants to be 800 plus nice, uh, sub up. Appreciate the support. Uh, goodbye.